वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल शो यू अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ एन या एस एस डी देर आर नॉर्मली थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एन वी एम ई साटा एंड एम डॉट टू एन वी एम ई साटा एम डॉट टू और एन वी एम ई एम डॉट टू तो नॉर्मली मैनी यूजर्स परचेज दिस डिवाइस एंड दे टेल अस दैट दिस डिवाइस इज नॉट वर्किंग बट there are two type of technology one is a sata which is working as a sata hard disk or sata ssd like that that is a normal connections we can do it and another is an nvme m.2 that required special connections so we have a different type of connections you can check here we have one this type of connection this is a simple connection but here this slot will not work as a sata only this will work as a sata this will work through the sata cable if you run this nvme m.2 then it required the special connections and one pci card is connected on the board then only this connection will run so remember this is your m.2 nvme and this is sata m.2 so this only work which has a two notch one is here and one is here this will only run on the single notch so here you can see this will run and this will run here this will run here and this will only run here only but it will not run with only this connection it also required this pci card connections so this is one items second item mrt has given this card so this is also second items but this has a normal connections also and if sometime ic is dry and it is not connection then we have to connect in additional converter is there with this mrt it is coming mrt specially make this for the pc 3000 portable but you can we we are using this with the mrt as a data copy or load ldr also for the sata drive so we are using this as a sata drive so this is a introduction about disk converters and this cards we will show you okay so next video we continue so here are the protocol uh, working concept ssd nvme types one is coming with an ssd m.2 sata this working on the sata protocol so sata protocol means it is easy to connect no problem it will directly run and this will run only on the b key you can check where is a b key and where is an m key that you have to identify you have to see the controller site first you have to check the controller site this is your controller site this is also controller site and this is also controller site so controller site left side is notch is we say we say b key and right side we say m key in some nvme you can found only one notch but this is very rare it available on two notch or one m b and m or m this is very rare case you can see in the field but normally they are coming nvme m.2 or sata m.2 so sata m.2 we can connect easily with the mrt or pc 3000 udma no problem but this only run in pc 3000 portable for data recovery purpose pc 3000 portable okay portable we required this device so this is different technologies so it will not run as a sata so that you have to remember that is an m key m2 a special connect pci controller additional to technology that is a pci card and this is connect with the sata so whenever you have a this type of nvme then only you can connect direct through the sata this with m key only m key nvme that is nvme m.2 will not work with the sata protocol you required special pci card or some another device to work so this is one tool that is a ssd nvme protocol so you have to remember this one notch here and one notch here that you have to understand these things okay these are two commonly another notch also coming but they are using apple and another's device you can use it okay next the nvme to sata converter this we are using normal 
so if you have this type of notch what i say before this type of will run here and this will run here but it will not run with the sata it required this special cable this cable is coming and this card you have to connect pcie express card so you have to connect on the system and this will not auto detect you have to power off and power on then this nvme will detects so this is the first option so these also available in the market one we also already sell this type of and if you want with this cable also this also so if you want this type of cards you can buy from us we have available this card also but it will run directly to sata with this only b key m key not only m key will not work this is your m key and this is your b and m both so remember these things you have to understand the concept of these two things so when you buy all the nvme will not run only sata nvme will run through this sata card so this is your sata connections and for this you require this connections and this you have to connect you also require this card so remember nvme to sata converter if you want these cards you can buy from us we already have these cards and if you want with the cable and connector that is also available next nowadays mrt also introduce one very good card but it is costly card but if you are in the repair and recovery this is already mrt for pc 3000 portable adapter they have introduced for the pc 3000 portable adapter but we are using with the mrt for uh, load ldr loading ldr and all those things we are using for this we are using here also you can use only sata protocol so that is nvme sata you can use sata only with which have a two notch so this you can use here this is normal only nvme connected but sometime nvme ic is dry or when we heat it is reading in that condition especially they have make this type of device here what happen we can connect this on the top of this here three pins are connected here and these three pins are connected here and it control the temperature here is a uh, heater on this side it is a heating like a smd what we are using smd temperature that is heating this will connect silver side is there this will connect here i will show the practical on the next the student who has enrolled in the class we have showing this space uh, practically sections how to temperature high low like that we can do it so this is you can connect here directly and when you connect here it will look like this see and here we can increase the temperature it is 34 degree we can increase or decrease and we can see currently what temperature is it will go up to 150 200 i have checked till 150 but it will go more heating and this is very heating and this will heat this chips and if there is a dry dry solder problem the and sometime nvme work so if nvme required heating for this we are using these things so this is specially made from mrt so we are using with an mrt tool only but they have introduced with for the pc 3000 portable device it is so we are using this tool with an mrt for load ldr i will show the practical how we are connecting with an mrt here is your here you have a male connection you can check here is a female connection this is your converter and this is your nvme heating converter you can check here okay so this one sets this is slim coming with this this is your device okay so you have to insert the ca a card here like this ha uh, we will insert here after inserting we will put this uh, as a here and we put the pin inside then we give the temperature like that we can insert here sorry we can insert here then the light we will connect with the cable cable is also here so we have connected with an mrt cable one extra cable we have buy it 
this cable is also available so you can connect with an mrt then we connect here then we power on like that this we are doing here so when we give the power on also it will start reading this we required mail to mail connection so if you have a mail to mail connection you can connect here okay this you are connecting here when we power on it is power through the mrt so this is a one step we will show the practical sessions on the next video so see here we have connecting here see when we power on it is see drt dsc com you can check here we have connected uh, directly on port 1 this is port 1 cable on mrt now it is connected here so if you it is a silicon i can go uh, this is my mrt device this is ssd and if my ssd is enable it will on if you don't have ssd then this will be off so here we can upload whatever if you want to load ldr we can go to silicon motions then i will select it so this also we are using but sometime what happen that uh, dry is very dry when we give the heat it will work for some time in that condition this will be used so we can set the temperature also this is now close because we not connect this if you connect this then it will also start working because here the signals will get here so it will heat it so this also we can load ldr and we can go ahead here you can check which ldr file that you have to load from here so we can load here sp something is there uh 58 tlc we can load the ldr here from y8 ltlc like that we can go here hmm in here is a p06 17b something this we can load the ldr from here also like that so this we will show you in the classes if you enroll so i'm just showing how to check it is a short open close through this also you can load okay so this is a step of loading through this also we can use this also anything we can use here So there are two three options you can use it these are all dear option loading so these are the step what we are using in this sessions okay next now for complete video about how to use you can enroll our online offline course and study step by step class or you can purchase this device contact us huh we are on next video we will show you how we are connect how to load ldr how to give the temperature what is the heating this all device we can show you in our class if you want to join our online class you can join our online offline class of ssd we are starting the ssd class ssd basic and logical first step is ssd logical and basics so introduction to ssd storage common problem in ssd ssd storage working ssd controller chip how many type of chips nand chip info and all those things different ssd utility softwares what is an sm what is what types of controller are there what is a safe mode what is a rom mode how to enable the rom mode ssd repairment firmware update this is a basic before starting class we have to understand this thing then we will go in the first chapter that is a logical that is a software related issues so first we understand what is a trim in ssd how data store in ssd and we mean deleted recovery in ssd what are the problems formatted recovery in ssd and we mean if trim enable disable that we have to understand what is an enable what is a disable partition recovery io error unallocated these problems we can check with the logical that is the first chapter second chapter is a firmware and translator issues for translator issues with the mrt or pc 3000 we will show you in second chapter is for firmware so how to identify ssd controller flash a firmware tools list and use which different different device we are using MRT and PC 3000 SSD. These two tools are we are using. So that is a recovery tool use. How to load LDR, safe mode, translator, hard disk to disk, image copy, firmware recovery without MRT PC 3000. If you don't have MRT PC 3000, another option how to recover which are ex additional tools. And there we have a case studies of the firmware also. Then third option is electronic. 
electronic failure means there is a PCB related issues heating so we will go first basic electronics third portions identify and testing of electronic components SSD NVMe pin identify and testing short open close this and NAND replacement controller replacement okay soldering removing no power these all are we have done in the third case and fourth is a case study we have a lots of collection of the case studies of NVMe okay so we have a lots of case studies and one last option if someone only want to repair SSD repairing course that is the different in this also we have a different different course content this is a detailed course content what we are showing okay and we have some case studies also if you want to buy only case studies how we are repair the hard disk so we have a some case studies collections these are the case studies collection see this is one case study it is done in MRT it is 15 minute videos second SSD data blo bad blocks no data shown case studies then MRT third firmware case that is an uh, no, QLC not support chip third SSD heat vision C100 240 controller recovery in PC3000 English video it is done in PC3000 this case SSD concern detect but data not open image in MRT that is done in MRT through MRT it is in English video send is size ok not scan data recover with the MRT that is done with the MRT this is part 1 part 2 SSD Kingston 128GB SM not detect MRT not run PC3000 LDR load ok this is done with the PC3000 SSD light also we have done some PCB related case that is a power sorting is you 12 minute videos are there SSD no power case study English Fear crucial SSD no power SATA problem repair then some more cases are there Fear SSD or more case yester study explain that is also there or some more three four more videos also there that will be included in this class that if you want to study online course you can join to our online course we have a self study class or zoom class if you want to do the offline class we are uh, conducting one class approximately on October approximately September second week maybe SSD class so you can contact us we will show you the schedules of the offline class first you have to do the online class then only you can come for the offline class SSD all the model is not possible because some controller are not supported with the PC3000 or MRT or any other tools so depend on the controller you can do the recovery not with the model number so whenever you ask me about this controller support or not you required to see the controller what is a controller so you have to open this and you have to check which controller it is it may be silicon motions or any controller it will be there there are lots of controller lists see these are our list of controller so if you go silicon motion these are the silicon motion fission fission huh? then uh, realtek maxtor Sandis, Inogrid, these all are the controller which some are supported with the portable, some are supported with UDMA and many men of the case are supported with MRT and some are used other than these three tools also we can do the data recovery. So we are introducing the new class offline also but for that also you have to do first online you have to understand then you have to come to our class we will take a three day sessions full day class if you want to join the offline class you can pay difference and pay the offline class or you can join the online class okay any queries you can contact us 98241-44698 okay if you want the physical tools of data recovery if you want to learn the MRT advanced training PC3000 advanced training all other training also available okay thank you